Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ang Agham! Today, we are going to learn about molarity. Another way of expressing the concentration of solutions is through molarity or molar concentration. Molarity refers to the number of mole solute in one liter of the solution. Ito ang formula to get the molarity. Molarity equals number of moles na nasa solute over or divided by the volume of the solution in unit liters. Anong kailangan natin gawin para makuha ang molarity? First, we need to get the number of moles of the solute o kung ano yung substance na dissolve sa solution. Next, we need to get the volume of the solution in liters. Kapag mayroong problems na yung given volume ay in milliliters or other units of volume, you need to convert it first into liters. Number 3. Just apply the formula to find the molarity. Kapag present ang number of moles ng solute at ang volume of solution in liters, you just apply the formula. Pero paano pag walang number of moles solute? Anong gagawin? Siyempre, hahanapin muna natin ang number of moles solute. How to get the number of moles solute? We just use this formula. Number of mole solute equals mass solute divided by or over molar mass solute. Ano ba yung molar mass? Molar mass is the mass of a given chemical or chemical compound in unit of grams divided by the amount of substance in mole. Para mas maintindihan natin, kunin natin ang molar mass. How do we get the molar mass? Molar mass is just the sum of the masses of the elements in the solute. And the unit that we're going to use is gram per mole. Let's have an example. Finding the molar mass. What is the molar mass of sucrose with the chemical formula C12H22O11? Ang una nating gagawin ay gagawa tayo ng table with three columns. Each column, ililabel natin with elements, number of elements, atomic mass of the element. Sa sucrose, meron lang tayong tatlong element, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. We will write C for carbon, H for hydrogen, and O for oxygen. You simply write the chemical symbol para hindi maging mahaba yung solution nyo. Then, on the next column, we will write the number of elements present in that compound. Sa sucrose, meron tayong 12 carbon atoms. So, let's write 12. In sucrose, we have 22 hydrogen atoms. We write 22. And we have 11 oxygen atoms. Then, to the third and last column, we will write the atomic mass of the element. Saan ba makikita ang atomic mass ng element? You can find it in the periodic table. Merong nakalaga na number sa side o sa baba ng element at yun yung atomic mass. You can write the complete atomic mass or round it off to two decimal places or round it off to the nearest whole number. Kapag kumpleto na ang table na ito, you just multiply the number of elements by the atomic mass of the element. So we will multiply 12 times 12, 22 times 1, and 11 times 16. 
and get the product. We have 144, 22, and 176. Kapag nagawa nyo na yun, you just add the products, which is 342. At ito na ang molar mass. At ang unit na gagamitin natin is gram per mole. Kapag nakuha nyo na ang necessary values, you just apply the formula to get the molarity. Let's have a sample problem. What is the molarity of a solution containing 8 grams of sodium hydroxide NaOH solution in 400 milliliter solution? What is asked? We need to find the molarity. Sa problem, ano ba yung mga given? We have 8 grams sodium hydroxide, which is the mass of the solute, and 400 milliliter solution, which is the volume of the solution. Remember yung formula sa molar mass? We need to use the liters unit. So yung 400 ml, we need to convert it into liters, which is 0 0.4 liters. Kapag alam niyo na yung given, Let's proceed to the solution. How do we get the molarity? We use the formula molarity M equals number of moles of the solute over the volume of solution in liters. Meron na bang number of moles solute? Wala pa. So to get the molarity, first, we need to find the number of moles of the solute. How do we get the number of moles? We just use this formula. Number of moles solute equals mass of the solute over the molar mass of the solute. I-check nga natin sa given. Meron ba tayong mass of the solute? Meron. We have 8 grams sodium hydroxide. How about molar mass of solute? Hindi siya nakastate sa problem. So, we need to get the molar mass of the solute. What is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? Let's make a table first. Yung table na merong tatlong columns. May elements, number of elements, and atomic mass of element. Anong elements ang present sa sodium hydroxide? We have sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Ilagay nyo rin kung ilang elements ang present in that compound. At lastly, tingin muna kayo sa periodic table and write the atomic mass of the elements. Sodium is 23 Oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. After that, you multiply the number of elements by the atomic mass of the elements and get the product. First, in sodium, we have 23, oxygen 16, and hydrogen 1. Upon getting that, you simply add these values. And now you get 40 gram per mole, which is the unit for molar mass. Ang molar mass ng sodium hydroxide ay 40 grams per mole. At dahil meron na tayong molar mass of the solute, which is 40 grams per mole, pwede na nating makuha ang number of moles. How to get the number of moles? We use this formula. Number of moles equals mass of solute over molar mass of solute. We simply substitute the values from our given. What is the mass of the solute? 8 grams. How about the molar mass of the solute? 40 grams per mole. We will just divide, then cancel out the common units and we now have 0 0.2 moles as the number of moles of the solute. Dahil meron na tayong number of moles solute, we will now proceed to the last and final step. We will get the molarity. How to get the molarity? We use the formula M, or molarity, equals number of moles solute over the volume of solution in liters. Balik nga tayo sa given, i-check natin kung present na lahat. Okay, present na lahat. What is the number of moles solute? We have 0 0.2 moles. How about the volume of the solution in liters? It is 0 0.4 liters. Then we just divide. What is 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.4? The answer is 0 0.5 moles per liter. Or you can simply write 0 0.5 molars. It's quiz time! 
Para malaman natin if you really learned from our discussion about molarity, we will have a short quiz. After 3 minutes, check natin kung tama ba ang mga answers nyo. The problem states, what is the molarity of a solution of 300 grams sodium chloride NaCl in 10 liter solution? The molar mass of NaCl is 58 grams per mole. What is asked? We need to find the molarity. Ano ba yung mga given values? We have 300 grams sodium chloride, which is the mass of the solute, and 10 liter solution, which is the volume of the solution. Ano pa? We have 58 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of sodium chloride. At since sinahanat natin ang molarity, how do we get the molarity? We use the formula molarity M equals number of moles solute over the volume of solution in liters. Let's check the given. Can we now apply the formula? Yet, first we need to get the number of moles solute. Panong alit kunin yon? We use the formula number of moles solute equals mass solute over the molar mass of the solute. Based sa problem natin, ano ba yung mass of the solute? We have 300 grams. And how about the molar mass? We have 58 grams per mole. Then we just divide them and cancel out the common units. And we now have 5.17 moles of sodium chloride. Kapag nakuha na natin ang number of moles, we can proceed to finding the molarity. Remember yung formula, 
number of moles solute over the volume of solution in liters. Given na ba lahat to? Yes. So, we just divide. 5.17 moles divided by 10 liters. We have 0.52 moles per liters or you can also write 0.52 molars. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode. We hope that you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!